Confidence affects behaviour in many different ways. As a teacher, if I feel confident, I will go into the classroom and I will know when I'm starting, what I'm starting with and what I want to achieve. I will have goals, I will have aims and I'll have outcomes. I will work towards them and I will be able to present the very best that I can to my students to ensure that they are able to achieve those aims and outcomes as we have set out. Well, confidence affects learning in lots of different ways. Let's, let's start by looking at it from your student's point of view. If you've got a teacher who perhaps doesn't project, who mumbles or whispers or speaks very quietly about the, the subject matter, this is not some, something that your students are going to buy into. This is something that's not going to engage them and it's not going to motivate them. So what happens when your students aren't engaged or they aren't motivated? They start to become disruptive and they start to fidget and they start perhaps to play with their mobile phone and they're looking out the window and they're wondering what time what time lunch is and they start to think about different things so if you as a teacher if you're confident you will get the best learning from your students by going in by projecting by being sure of what you're talking about and being a hundred percent on the ball 